good weekend. Uh, logistically, everything uh, you know went smoothly. Um, weather generally cooperated. Uh, could have been a little cooler out there, a little less humid, but um, you know both Friday and Saturday uh, you know went went very well uh, with the collegiate in in the high school. Yeah, she's the only only upperclassman that's going to really be uh, in our top five this year. Um, so, you know, besides all of our freshmen and redshirt freshmen there. So, um, you know, she had an okay day Friday. I, I think she'd be the first to tell you that it wasn't uh, amazing. Um, you know, Gordy said that she's been uh, a little sick, a little under the weather, and she was kind of bouncing back at that point. So, she didn't run a very aggressive race early. Uh, she kind of missed the boat on the front pack and was just kind of playing catch up the rest of the, the, rest of the day. So, uh, solid opener, it was fine. Uh, she's got a ton more there and, and as we build through the rest of the season, I think we'll, we'll see that particularly as we get to October uh, and November. Yeah, it was, you know, it gave us a bit of confidence, uh, which uh, was nice. Um, you kind of look individually at who did what, and uh, team-wise, you know, again, we were happy with performance, but individually you walk away and go, well, geez, you know, this person could have done this, this person could have done this, you just kind of go down the line. Um, so, but it's the first meet of the season at the same time, so yeah. of course that happens a lot. Um, so I, the point being, I think there's a ton of upside with uh, where we went, or where we can go from uh, last Friday. Having a program like that uh, in our conference gives us something to shoot for and something to grow towards uh, over the long term. We're not going to get there this year. Um, it's taken them many, many years to, to build to that point, but it is something that, um, that you know we will shoot for down the road uh, in terms of being able to win conference titles and qualify to national championships and all that kind of thing. So, But in the short term on Friday, yeah, those girls were out there. That wasn't their number one, number two girl out there, but they had a lot uh, of their, their top girls in that race. And um, uh, having that standard of competition out there, is, it, it's nice to kind of see how you measure up against that and how much we need to improve to kind of get there. But beforehand, before the meet, we talked about, you know, who was going to step up and, and you know, we got a little bit of an answer there with, with Tim doing that. So uh, it was nice to see that. And um, again, kind of going down the road here, you go to Buffalo and all Ohio and Bradley, we'll see kind of consistently. Uh, if he does that or somebody else steps up, we'll have a few more people in uniform uh, in, uh, in two weeks at Buffalo. So, um, so it should be really interesting to see uh, who, who, who uh, takes over that role. Yeah, it was a new meet, um, something that hadn't been hosted here in, in a number of years, so we're kind of reviving it, bringing it back. Uh, we had some nice fields out there, good high school competition, um, put on a, a really professional meet that I think uh, the feedback was extremely positive on. Uh, so we'll see, the, the goal is to see that kind of grow over the years where eventually we're getting to something, you know, like 30 or 40 high school teams out there. Uh, but for our first year, it, it was a good event. Uh, you know, well run, and uh, I think we were pretty, pretty happy with it on the back end.